Just six weeks until opening day. Timberwolves Kings and Target Center. Oh, I'm excited. It is Friday. Uh, 5.39 p.m. and 59 degrees. There's a freeze warning this weekend. Can you believe it? It was just 87. It was just so hot that it was still over 80 after midnight. Freeze warning. Which means I'm going to have to find some space for my aloe vera and bring it in and hope that it will hibernate. It didn't get much bigger. I didn't kill it. That's a plus. But it didn't really thrive like the one that I did kill. I had this really great aloe vera and it was thick and meaty and there were leaves everywhere and it was just growing like crazy. And I put it on top of one of the radiators during winter and I made the mistake of watering it. You're just not supposed to water it and let it hibernate. But I watered it and I watered it enough that I ended up overwatering it, and it just fell apart. What a sad story. So uh, at the ice cream social the next year, it turns out there was a guy who had some aloe, a little $1 container, and I bought it, and I put it in the big pot, and it kind of did okay, but it's not so great. I mean, there's enough that if I burn myself, I can apply aloe to it, which is why you have it anyway. But when I went to Phil and Jackie's house last week, they have this incredible, fat, juicy, mmm. I'm very envious of their aloe vera plant. In fact, what I need to do is ingratiate myself to them and say, you know, when you split that bad boy up, bring some my way. Man, I, it was so good. The one I killed was so great, though. It just, you could, big old leaves, you could just pull them off there and stick them in the freezer and, ah. Uh. But enough about aloe vera. That's not why you came here. Why did you come here? Uh, to see what I'd talk about today. I don't think I have anything to answer because I covered that in the viewer mail yesterday, right? I think so. So, going with my current trend, I found a bag of stuff. Look, remember Tower Records? This bag is from my Tower Records somewhere in Silicon Valley, I'm sure. Campbell or San, or San Jose. And it's full of crap. In fact, are you? Are you ready? Are you ready? This was one of their promotional items uh, right before Next Link changed their name to XO. Obviously, that's from a CD from Tower Records, but just XO all over this bad mug. Mostly uh, business cards. Stickies attached to them. What do we got here? Okay. Here's some super secret concentric passwords and information. And uh, looks like a username I used to have. Oh! Is that Rick Skye's phone number? So that's where it is. I wonder now. I wonder if it works. They'll get me in huge trouble if it turns out that it works. Let's keep that between us. Now I'll have to go back and see if I actually displayed Sky's phone number. Ah, so that's where it was. Huh. I'd call him, but I really don't have a good reason to. I should call him right now. Wouldn't that be an entertaining video? Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, interesting. Anyway, what I was saying was the extensions of all my coworkers who no longer work there. Just cover up Sky's thing. Whee! And that looks like Aaron's phone number there when he lived in San Diego. He doesn't anymore. There's PacBell DSL, who I had to call every day for six weeks when my DSL stopped working. There's some name server information, I think, for concentric name servers that are no longer up. Wow, that's good stuff, man. Here's a sticker Kim bought me from the air market. It cost a quarter, and it is wheezing. So I'm going to put him right up uh, next to coughing. Coughing, I actually had and knew where that was. And he lives over on my door. Can you see him up there? So we'll put wheezing right under him. I hope I haven't ruined everything by moving the camera now. What else we got? Here's a Polaroid of Kim from 2000. 
Wasn't she cute? She's still cute, but her hair is not that color now, I will tell you. Here's some more information. Now I'm going to really look at it. Kim's New York phone number. I'm sure she'd love me giving you that. Although she doesn't have it anymore. There's her work number at that place I can't talk about. There's her old cell number that she had for years and years. Even after she moved to California, she had that number for a long time. She has a Minnesota number now. So anyway, ooh, that's what all those numbers and letters are. Isn't that interesting? Someone gave me a Volkswagen logo that they found because I, I was a Volkswagen guy. Here's my XO badge holder, broken. There's like three or four broken badge holders in this bag. Here's a letter opener, made by Presto. I don't actually, oh yeah, I do. It's, it's like the same letter opener, except it doesn't say Presto on it. So here's the XO one, and here's the uh, Veritas Semantic one. I don't get a lot of letters where I have to use the opener. Here's a badge holder that's not broken, but it's not so great, because it was a pin as opposed to a clip. So that's where it broke. Anything else? Some more phone numbers. Up. Oh, Aaron's number, Lisa's number, and Kim's number. Whoop. As you can tell, for a long time I didn't have a cell phone or a decent cell phone. So whenever I had to. Wow, here's an XO badge holder. Oh, no, it's broken over here. Okay. Here's a badge holder from Comscope. It's a clip, and it is broken because there's no string coming out of it. There's also something that's disintegrated and has left little crumbs all over the everything else in here. Got anything else? A lot of post-it notes. For the longest time, I carried a pager, which is why I had to write numbers down rather than store them in my mobile device. I had no mobile device. To this day, I still not have a mobile device. It hadn't been for, me, for Kim putting me on a plan with her. Oh, here's a little tiny sticker about Smaru. He probably lived on my monitor. I don't know if he would make it up here now. Here's something from our, our Hawaiian trip, I think. Dakain. He's just got the tape on there for sticking to your monitor. All right. And here's a headset which may or may not work. Well, definitely won't work on my phone in the office. Here's some batteries that haven't leaked. That's good. Whose phone was it? Mine. Ah, that's what's disintegrated. The uh, headset pad has turned into dust. It's those black headset pad dust over everything. Ooh, and here's a little brush for your monitor. It just stuck to something. We'll see what I got, what that page was in a minute. Now the internet revolves around you. Thanks, Concentric, for the little brush to brush off stuff. Oh, Phil, are you watching? Here's your super secret URL from 12 years ago that doesn't work anymore. I have to log in as you if I want to do it. Philo. Is your password here too? Yes, but it's so sticky I can't read it. Mmm. I will not reveal the password. I will tell you that it's a seven-letter word starting with B, if that helps. We can all play the guessing game later. Wow, my time's almost up. I haven't even talked about the stuff I was going to talk about because I got wrapped up in this bag of stuff. Hey, I hit Tweet 10,000 uh, this week. Did you see it? I actually did it. It's like I said earlier, I really thought it was going to happen during Raw, but it didn't because Raw was boring. But it is what it is. Que sera, sera. Another week is over. I thank you for sticking with me on this amazing journey to who knows where. Um, assuming everything goes well, i got to be in early on Monday. Super Seeker Project. I'll tell you about it uh, after it happens. And... I'm so neat and tidy. Not really. Thanks for watching. Join me next week, won't you? Uh, until then, I'm uh, that guy right there coming to you from my palatial 
so roomy office here in Roseville, Minnesota, to you. Why do I keep all these broken badge holders anyway? I guess so I can do stuff like this. All right. I love you. I'll see you next week. God willing. See ya.